modeling of a transmission line when we consider a transmission when we consider a transmission line we will have a sending point and a receiving point we will have some resistance of wire in between these two points we will have some inductance and with respect to ground we will have some resistance this resistance can be modeled with core analysis and we will have some capacitance with respect to ground because we have two charged bodies or uh, this is earth or this is neutral body and a charged body separated by a dielectric we will have a capacitance resistance and inductance let's say this is r this is x or this is l and this is c this is a resistance which we will model it with conductance then we will have four parameters to explain any line or study any transmission line these four parameters will be resistance capacitance inductance and the sh shunt conductance this shunt conductance will go for corona loss will explain the corona loss this resistance will explain the voltage drop between both points and capacitance will explain the charging current next uh, we can consider this this line can be distributed any line can is distributed line so the meaning of this thing is like we will have resistance distribution resistance distributed over a long distance in series we will have some inductance distributed with a long distance if we have a line with 100 km length we will have the resistance and inductance distributed to the long distances okay and with respect to ground we will have some capacitance in between distributed to a long distance but for study we consider this distributed model as the lumped model in lumped model we will consider all these resistances and inductances in a single resistance and a single inductance like this we will consider this capacitor and the shunt conductance in a single shunt conductor and a single capacitor this will be the lumped model and this will be the distributed model we consider the lumped model for just approximated analysis of transmission lines but in reality we have the distributed lines only even while analy while analysis these four parameters like resistance inductance conductance and capacitance can be used in different fashion the one fashion can be like a resistor in series with an inductor and at one end we will consider the capacitance and our shunt conductance right this is one method this can be a one method another another method we can use like we can consider a resistance inductor and at this sending end we will consider the shunt con shunt conductance and the shunt capacitor okay in third method we can consider like we can different we can divide these resistance and inductors in two halves like resistance and inductor again and again a resistor and inductor and in between we will consider this capacitance and our g parameter with respect to ground this is the third model now we can consider we can consider another model fourth model fourth model will be like we will have a resistance inductor and now at this moment at this time we will split this capacitor in into we will have this name end capacitor end capacitor model uh, this will be a 
sending sending and sending and capacitor right sending sending and capacitor model then this model will be this model looks like a t right this model looks like a t so we'll call this model as a t model a nominal t model nominal t model and this look like looks like a pi so we'll call this model as a pi model or nominal nominal pi model nominal pi model and nominal t model we generally have these four models and uh, we'll study this study them by by one by one